Hello, and welcome to the Horns of Kanzo, part one, a long way up. A Thief 2 fan mission by Sterlina. Let's get straight into it. Sterlino presents a Garrett's venture. Concept story and editing by Sterlino with the moral support of Lord Allen. Translation by Nightwalker, some objects made by Targa. Fan mission made with Jomet Deluxe, thanks to Rob Hicks and the others from TTLG. Special thanks to Comag for tutorials and Alessandro Riva for friendship. Written and directed by Sterlino. It's a quiet mid-September afternoon and Garrett is in front of the fireplace remembering the adventures of the past. In his hand, a goblet of a fabulous wine taken from Lord Baffert's cellar. But... What was that? Please, Garrett. We have a captain idea of one of that same good for ransom. To free him, you must then for us the devil's clue. Ugh. Yes, Basil, my friend. And I better do this quick. Time to go. The journey. This is the beginning of a very long trip for girls. Through light and darkness. Until here, the end of the journey, the start of the trouble, Kanzo. Horns of Kanzo. Use any means necessary to reach the third Alp Inn at the top of the mountain. Room number four is reserved for you. You'll find the details of the job waiting for you there. This is the last thing you must do after completing all the rest. Okay, pick up 800 in loot. Optional, find all the secrets in the mission. Optional, try not to alert anyone to your presence here. You don't want the alarms going off before you start the real mission. But first of all, get some loot, go to the shop and buy something. Find at least six secrets. Hmm. Difficulty Snake adds, the local police, the Carabinieri, hate you, so stay alert. Be warned though, don't spill their blood or the whole mission will fail. Don't kill anyone. Uh, okay, the job's going well, but you need money now. Pick up at least 1400 in loot. A master thief doesn't mean hammer compressor. Don't knock out more than three people. Uh, an optional try not to alert anyone to your presence here. You don't want the alarms going off before you start the real mission. Find at least five secrets. That's interesting, the secret count goes down. Uh, ghost, don't kill anyone, 1800 in loot, um, find all the secrets in the mission, still optional, not a single knockout permitted, find the meaning of the four magic elements, try not to alert anyone to your presence here, that's still optional, uh, for a real challenge, make it like a ghost, don't let anyone see or hear you, okay, also optional. Um, and it doesn't have a required find X number of secrets, now... Huh. I don't know which difficulty I should tackle this on. Three knockouts, zero knockouts, any number of knockouts. I don't know how hard the secrets are going to be, that's really what's bothering me. But then I don't know how hard finding the meaning of the four magic elements is going to be and whether... I mean, I'm, I can handle not knocking people out most of the time. Let's try this difficulty. There are different things. The mission does say that uh, some things change depending on the difficulty level and you can't see everything on every difficulty level. I don't know what that entails. 
I'll just have to try and find out. So, try to get to the third alp in room number four, but first get lots of money. So that's at the top of the mountain. Okay. So map. We start here, so there's a saloon and the woods to the east, old mine, crags, and the horns, the mountains. Um the shop is west. Cemetery, woods, village. Okay. Let's uh, start with the woods, shall we? In the and the tavern. Mm -hmm. right, I'm going to adjust the audio levels here. Turn ambient down a little. Could pick up the bin, or maybe I could throw something in the bin. At Lonzo's Saloon. Question is, are people here? Trunk guards keys, sounds like a good idea. Are people at the saloon going to be... Of I think it's safe, right? They're just called stacks. I don't believe even you could lose a whole bookcase. I tell you the place is haunted. One minute I went on my way to Father Lord's letters, then I heard this terrible sound. And when I turned around, the M stacks were gone. Y'all say you got turned around, right? You don't understand. I dropped the letters on the floor and they now know too. whether the sheriff I looked had everywhere. Arrived. The sheriff somehow what you does he here? Oh, the meeting. I had forgotten that. Uh, all this audio is way too high at the moment. I'm going to turn that down a bit. Uh, also, I think it's a sky to how low was ideal for this. So Today was the down. date. Ha! Thou hast no idea what I speak on. Thou must learn to pay more attention, lest thee find thyself fallen by the wayside as the future passes thee by. <laughs> yeah, from behind the bar before anyone spots us. Thou have no mischief on now my they watch. will be happy. To serve the nobility is the highest privilege in life, of course. But slavery is just so distasteful. You see, my dear, the servants can truly make you happy. Could there be a more noble purpose in life? I know, I know, dear. But there will be other banquets. Besides, it's not as if we hey, intend to join their city religion or anything. I'm closing in, Taffer. Okay, they are imagining things now. They are not happy for me to be here. If they see me. Let's make sure they don't see me properly, right? I guess I've already failed the ghost? No, I guess not. Oh, don't worry about the shopkeepers. You oh, You scared me nearly half to death. <laughs> this mode failed, you've been spotted. Well, that's interesting. Why is probing the uh a whole stack of books. No, the M stack. It's a section of bookcases. They're just called stacks. I don't believe even you could lose a whole bookcase. I tell you the place is haunted. One minute I was on my way to Father Lord's letters, then I heard this terrible sound. And when I turned around, the M stacks were gone. I'll say you got turned around all right. You don't understand. I dropped the letters on the floor and they were gone know too. Whether the sheriff I looked everywhere. Arrived. The sheriff somehow wanted mm. us tea here. Oh, the meat. <laughs> There's a rat in the barrel. It's cute. 
Thou must learn to pay more attention, lest thee find thyself fallen by the wayside as the future passes thee by. Help! Help! This way, we've got trouble. All right, well, I've been spotted again. Stop right oh, there! So that's Pepper. the point, Margaret. You don't now look so tough. will be happy. To serve the nobility is the highest privilege in life, of course. Where's my key? But slavery is just so Ow. distasteful. Olivia, <laughs> the shadows can truly make you happy. Could there be a more noble purpose in life? Sorry, ma'am. I know, uh, you I just know, dear. Right. But there will be other banquets. You, so, as as you scared me nearly half to death. Religion or anything. Am I actually spending money doing that? No. <laughs> oh, that scared me. Well, I don't mind about Ghost Mode failed. Hi, horsey. We got 600 gold now. Which is pretty good, I must say. Is there an upstairs to this place? I mean, it kind of looks like there is, but I didn't see any stairs up. Oh, it's the drunk guard being kicked out again. Okay. Do we want to explore the woods? I mean, why not, huh? Someone's been here before us. Mmm, <laughs> tasty bread. Hello. Just gonna drop something in the river too. <laughs> if there's anything up this hill. Root, a broken arrow. Well, up this way. Going first is always a good idea, isn't it? Whoops. I can't climb out there. Climb out there. I can't mantle out of the river now. This is a problem. <sighs> Get out of here. Okay, I don't know why I couldn't mantle. That's very weird. Uh, I did read some stuff in one of the readmes about it. About some issues with mantling, but... Um, I can't get out there. Alright. It seems to be intentional to stop me getting out there, so I'm gonna drop down from the ledge above, I think. I don't know. I want that I want that nugget anyway. I mean I mantled the cross before when I jumped that there. We just drop down carefully here. Oh, I see that rocks in the way. We've got to drop, do a big drop. I guess it's all right. Uh. We have fruit to heal us. There we are, for themselves. Tried to make the jump, couldn't make the jump. Oh, that's the other thing I was going to try. We drop down there, like there's a passage. There is a passage. Where does this lead? Found a secret. There's a fish there. Is there air here? No. Is there air anywhere? 
Okay. Could maybe try getting out there, but let's see where else this goes first. Hi, fishy. Oh. That looks valuable. It's down this way. So we can get out at the other place. We can also come along here. Well, we can't get out and can't breathe, so we need to get back quickly. All right. Uh, I might hurt, get hurt here. It's been too long. Okay. Not where I wanted to go, but that's fine. I did take damage. Oh, hang on to my healing potion for the moment. Let's see where this takes me. Ow. <laughs> Squidgy floor. I'm going north from here. That's the old mine. Oh, it needs a key, a water key. I wonder what that does. Oh, I see. That's what it does. It unlocks that gate. Hmm. Oh. What does ale do? Does ale heal me? I don't know. Should I try it? I don't know. Let's hang on to one of them anyway, just in case. I shouldn't have done that. Okay. Huh. I don't have a key. Oh, I've got the drunk guard's key. Is that, is that any good here? I don't know why this key opens. No. Alright, so we're going to have to come back here later, I guess. Can we get out of the river up this up this area? Ow. Hand mantle. Sometimes, I see. That's just a bit fiddly. Guess we're not getting through there. world's biggest fan of that sound. I don't see any tree beasts. However, I also don't see a way through the woods. So maybe that's, maybe we have to come back later. Another river. Where does this go? Oh, well, you just jump in, right? It's a very strong current, this river. Once I have some kind of weapon. 
I can't swim against this current. Okay. Well, I can if I don't go to agony, but that's a problem. Where is this going to take me? Welcome, my dear friend Garrett. I'm happy to see you here. In case you haven't realized it yet, this is a trap. No air to breathe means no more lifetime to spend. <laughs> you will soon be joining me here in the inferno, the trickster. I see. I literally can't swim up against the current now. Uh, then I could reload. That's a little... Hmm. Less than ideal, I suppose. Whoops, careful, guy. Not. I have to say, I'm not a fan of death traps and missions. Even if you give it a cheeky message. Lots of arrows being fired off. Maybe I can get up there with a rope arrow, but I don't have one. Maybe I should buy some stuff at the shops, you know. Shop. Weapons and tools. Sales permit. This permit is issued under authority of the sheriff and the mayor. This building is under the protection of the Carabinieri Guard. Permit valid until the last day of this year. Weapons and tool shop open from 9am to 7pm. No dogs allowed. Warning, this shop is protected by a sophisticated alarm system manufactured and installed by Acme Sir Limited. Okay, well what's behind the shop? And so, you finally realise that it's only a game and not real life. Perhaps you have noticed that the forest isn't real either, just a wall of textures. Mm -hmm. Well, don't worry, be happy to turn off your PC, put on some shoes, go outside and try to taste some real life. It's totally no. Well, that's a little odd. I haven't really uh, seen a mission before that says, stop playing this mission and go outside. So my answer to that is, no, I started playing this mission because I want to play this mission. The outside can wait. Besides, it's cold and dark outside. This is just a mint as an Easter egg. Alright, let's uh, buy some weapons and tools, shall we? A set of unique items. <coughs> Welcome, stranger. We we have anything. Last ice slash flash arrow in the whole world. Okay, this is an invisibility potion. Breath potion, maybe? I don't know. Healing potion, flash bomb, maybe? Special amount of powerful ice bomb, only 400 gold. I have 900, that's almost half my money. How do I buy other things? How do I buy ordinary things? Ah, oh, what's this? Blackjack's limited stock item, price 75 gold. Yeah. In this display, display case, you'll find weapons and tools for sale. Act quickly, somewhere in limited supply. Sword, 250. Water crystal arrow, price 50. Holy water from the chapel of St. Mary, price 150. Invisibility potion, rare, 300. The Devil's Paw, the one and only, 5,000 gold. Out of stock. How to finish horns of Kanto. Mystery solved. A step by step guide through the secrets of this awesome mission by Stilina. Out of stock on uh, walkthroughs. Healing potions, speed potions, moss arrows, flash bombs, broadheads, magical necromantic arrows, special this month only, price 150. Hmm. Rep arrows, 200. Drunk Guard's key doesn't do this, right? No. And picking the lock will surely set off the alarm, right? Gotta try it. We can't. I need a key. 
Uh, yeah, okay, let's take a breath, Aaron. Do I want a blackjack? No, because we're not allowed to knock anybody out, right? No knockouts. The sword would let me break down boards. Okay, we've got 450 left. What else? I really don't know. I mean, a healing potion might be a good idea, but it's pretty expensive. Necromantic arrow? I've got to find out what that does, right? At least take one. Hmm. Pick up your purchases here. Oh, I see. Sword. Rope arrow. Necromantic arrow. It's pretty magic. Do I want the ice bomb? Oh, I don't have enough money for it now. Maybe we come back when we have some more money. Thanks, man. Oh, are you the person who fled from the, uh, the inn? I don't know, but this way goes to the cemetery, so let's try the cemetery first. Hmm. Hello. That door doesn't seem to want to open. We don't need the door to open. We can climb. Ah, there doesn't seem to be anything out here. Okay. Can we climb back? Or have I fucked myself? Alright, we can new mantle over the door. I think that's just supposed to be a, uh, a backdrop. Man, don't, don't mind me. Oh, we got the sword. We can go break down that board. Where was it? Down here. And we got the rope arrow too. Pull the sword specially. Okay. Well. Let's try the rope arrow. I wonder if there's anything else upstream. Let's take a look from up above. We might be able to spot something. Maybe something worth diving into the river for. Doesn't really look like it. <laughs> There's this ledge. Is it worth climbing up here? No, nothing here. Go out, mantle that. Or, I guess, don't. Fine. <laughs> Where was that rope arrow spot? That was up here, wasn't it? Yeah. I think that's wood. Make sure I'm not going to get shot at the moment I climb up here. <laughs> mm. 
Goblin Archer. He's not happy to see me. Hmm, what am I going to do about him? There was some loot down there. He's back to shooting his target. Okay, that's good. I got some broadheads out of it. Oh, there's other one sticking. Yeah. Well, I'm still curious about these boards. He's not a bad shot. Okay. Take my rope too. Should be able to make it through now. I don't know if I can make it back. Might be a one-way trip. We could get seven broadheads out of that. Hello, a window. Another secret. All right. Well, we're on track to finding it's the secrets we need. Some trouble walking in there. There we go. Flare mixture. Is that a water crystal? Yes. Okay, another block saw. Another lock saw. <laughs> she wouldn't do that sometimes, Garrett. I've got a supply of crates for mantling. Ah. Well, I can't get back up the other way. Warning, fragile glass. Okay. Alright, we can go out that way. Where's this? Well, I can rope my way back out. Not a problem. That looks like a doorway. Hmm. Out here. Huh. I wonder where this is. <sighs> to Mr. Lower Grave, we found this key in the mouth of a rack near the cemetery. Please let us know if you know anything about it. Captain Renatoli. Little shiny key, okay. <laughs> also a fragile window? It might be, you know. 
No. Well, I might be fragile enough to throw a box at it, but not with my sword. That doesn't open. I need to look for switches and stuff too, right? Oh, it's another key unlabeled. Well, that was uh, not what I was expecting to find. This room seems the most likely for the switch, since this seems to be the one with the door. Oh, got some coins. More coins. Wow, I guess finding all the loot in this game is going to be... There's a lot of scattered coins on floors. It could be a difficult job. Thankfully, it's not required. Let's put us back up to 400, though. I could buy that ice bomb now. I'm going to test this door with my sword. No, it's not going to open it. Alright, well, it's probably a good thing I've got a rope arrow, or be kind of stuck here. I guess I couldn't have got here without a rope arrow, so... Working on the assumption that, there, that you will have one. I guess then that's fair enough. I'm a little annoyed about that doorway though. I wonder where that goes. Oh, I can't get out here? Oh. Well, I mean, I've got the crates. So I could get back by a crate, I suppose. Alright, we've got some keys for the cemetery, for near the cemetery. We maybe have a key for one of these doors as well. Nope. Ah, okay. There's a key. Grab these other crates. <laughs> In case you want to climb out that way. Alright, let's see where this still takes me. Looks like very few doors are going to be uh, pickable. Mm. No, that's not the drunk guard's key. Nope. All right. So two more locked doors down here. I have no idea where I am, but down this well. Is that somebody yelling help? Well, this is a fancy place. Books room 1543. <coughs> Norman, let the mechanist know tomorrow that we had a problem with the pressure gauge on the tunnel vault. Check and make sure that the gear in the tunnel is working properly or you won't be able to get to the gauge to repair it. Vault, huh? Sounds valuable. <clears throat> rat. I have the house full of rat. <laughs> you can say that. <laughs> <coughs> hey, look at this. <laughs> Watch out, there's some rat running around. Huh? What? Ha! Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, wouldn't want to stub your little toesies. He's got a purse on him. I gave the sword. Hmm. 
Now we'll try going up there later. This guy, I guess we're done with him. <coughs> Not so easy, thief. Okay. <laughs> Frequent saves is the order of the day then. Not so easy, thief. Not so easy, thief. If I had a slow pull potion, I could survive that. Ah, I'm stuck. Not so easy, thief. Not so easy. So I don't suppose there's anything down there. Is this worth surviving? Well, I guess I'm gonna... You know what? Let's make a hard save. This is gonna be death traps galore. I'm gonna want... Pretty regular hard saves, I think. <clears throat> I see alarm. I don't think we want the alarm. can come back quite so soon. Well, we won't go ghost anyway. 500. Hmm. Hmm. Books room, 1543. Okay, this is the pump. Maybe that's the thing that needs repairing. Something about that bolt. <laughs> Go back that way in a bit, but we'll wait for that. We'll come back when we think they've calmed down. Oh, it's another carabinieri. Okay, calm down. There's nothing there. Who's patrolling badly? Mm -hmm. Let's try giving him a bit of a hint to help with a quick save and a quick load. No? He's got a key as well. Hmm. Is someone there? Yep, it's always rats. Everybody hates them. <laughs> Nobody puts his finger on. <laughs> Oh, is he just going to stand there now, or is he patrolling? Hello. Anyone there? Mm, this one. I, 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 what do I see there? Closing the gate behind, okay. So we're going downhill, so this is not going towards the inn. That's okay, because we do need to visit the shop again anyway. Oh. I mean, I don't need to unlock that, right? So I guess I might as well if I can pick it.
Wow, this is a complicated lock. Which is weird because there's no hazards around. So it just takes time. Oh well. Hmm. Oh, is this this? Could have. This is the same set of buildings, right? This is the tree that I. I was up in there. Now oh, that closes after, after me. But I haven't been in this room. Okay. Right, that's going to need a key. Mm. Aha. Two ice bombs. Right, well, I guess I don't need to buy one if we got two free ones. That's nice. I don't know what they do. And I don't suppose the uh, the uh, equipment I've got carries over to the next mission. It's not normally the case. door does open. Not a real door. I was trying to get the window. <gasps> ah, it's that window. Okay. That's fine. We can get back there. Apologies for the broken door. Hmm. Does this work? Aha, uh -huh, probably so. And some loot. Absolutely does work. Your instincts, Garrett, are uh, still good. Oh, this is a cemetery up there, is it, maybe? I'm not sure. Oh, we're back here. Alright, do I want to buy anything else? I've got 575 now. We've also got a little shiny key that was found in the mouth of a rat near the cemetery. <clears throat> Welcome, stranger. Here we have anything. So I guess I don't want to, you know what, let's find out what the ice bomb does. Save. Well, it doesn't seem to have frozen him stiff, does it? Well, maybe it has. Can't tell. Yeah, he's frozen solid. Does he shatter? He does, and he dies. Welcome, stranger. We have anything. Holy water. I mean, I haven't tried the necromantic arrow, but I haven't found any undead. Do I want to buy anything else? I don't know. I don't know what I would need, though. That's the problem. Is that the door that we heard before? <laughs> <clears throat> Welcome, stranger. We we have anything? Apparently not. Hmm. We can't buy fire arrows. This is the way to the cemetery. Was there a lock here? Oh, there's that, which I missed. 
Get at least 1800 in loot, and I assume that's... Excluding whatever we spend? I don't know, that's a weird system. <sighs> well, I don't see anything... Key-shaped. Cemetery. There's no me in cemetery, because I'm still alive. Um, right, do we want to run back here again? And see if there's other keys? We've got two more keys, right? Let's see if they open any of those doors? It seems pretty long, pretty much a long shot. But it's also the easier way to get around those uh, carabinieri, so sure, let's do it. Yeah, so I was thinking we could stack three crates here and then get back up. Feels viable. You know what? Let's do that so that we have it as a as a way as a. Well, or at least put them here so we have it as an option. I don't want to put them, I don't want to stack them before in case it'll break them when, for, when coming down onto them if I come this way again. Tried these keys, right? Mm. Yeah, I tried the keys here. Yeah. Is there another locked door up this way? I don't remember. <sighs> right, there was this room. That. That's not a usable door. And there's this obvious secret door. Or is it? it certainly looks like it. I mean, yes, it went bang, right? Yeah. top of here. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to. I should try, right? <laughs> ah, it's just a river slide off. Okay. Books room? We picked up the key from the gal through here, right? Hmm. He is, okay. To the river, fair river in thy bright clear flow of crystal wandering water, thou art an emblem of the glow of beauty, the unhidden heart, the playful maziness of art in old Alberta's daughter. But when within thy half she looks, which glistens then and trembles, why then the prettiest of brooks her worshipper resembles? Library, depository, room 1543. All books from 758 to 1000A must not be removed from this room by order of the sheriff. Some glass tools. Diary of the Journey to Kazimar by Professor Treffer. Day 24. 
After a long trip into the damned valley, I discovered a sign at the base of a large, heavy rock. It's a green star, and I think I know what it is. I just need a couple of days to make some sense of some things about the ancient road to the city of Kazamar. Then I will be able to link all the hints about the nature of these people. Day 27. I saw another of those green stars in a cave this morning, shining like a diamond. We have finally reached the top of the valley, and tomorrow morning we start to climb down the other side of the mountain, where we should find the ancient lost city of Kazamar. Day 29. Those ancient statues must be over 5,000 years old. I know that it is difficult to believe, but tests on the Pyramid sand reveal traces of Sulfurius Minatorium, a composite found only in the pyramids. All of the artifacts found in the entrance hall have been damaged or destroyed. Perhaps this was caused by something like a very strong wind that swept all before it? My theory about these ancient Maya is correct. They performed sacrificial ceremonies to calm the anger of the gods. Kroll was one of those gods. A book reveals that this god named Kroll gave a gift to the friendly old king of the city, Mayugar, and for a thousand years peace reigned over them all. Day 30. Mr. Lowergrade's letter once again warned me about the dangerous nature of this land. This morning one of my men died after being bitten by a strange little blue creature. It is so pretty that it is difficult to believe that it can kill so easily. Day 31. Something strange happened. We are all terrified. A light was seen coming from inside a tomb in the cemetery area. Curiosity forced me to investigate. There I found another of these green stars. But this time the sign is an enormous picture of a man, probably Mayugar, that has this strange scepter with a green star over to the top of it. I presume it to be the famous gift of Kroll's guard. Then there was another picture, Mayugar near a little pool. It seems as if he was going to drop the scepter into the pool. But why? Maybe the scepter has a power that is charged by touching that strange greenish water in the pool. In another picture, there were thousands of these pools marked everywhere in the land. But for what purpose, I do not know. Day 32. Those strange little blue creatures are coming out from everywhere now. We've decided it is time to return to the main road and then follow the river out. If we are lucky, in a couple of days we will be out of this hell. Book. True nature of magic. Some new objective. Uh, find and unlock the secret of the water elemental key, secret of the air elemental key, the earth elemental key, and the dangerous fire elemental key. Book, the four magic elements of nature. Oh, okay, there's, so there's pages here. Why, why is it going backwards? Ah, oh, something something weird about the pages. I oh, know, I'm just I'm just getting confused by it. Okay. Thus he was able to destroy all of the other planes of reality, save one. Hours. Time and space became as one, flowing like a river from that moment onwards to forever. The gods, still helpless in their captivity outside our reality, dreamed of revenge. And after many eons, found the means to start another battle with Jonasart. To overcome the strength of his evil, they created a new kind of reality inside the Master Reality. A mix of the four elements that we call water, earth, air, and fire. After many events that are not recorded here, the gods of Quienintil Quien decided to send to earth a guardian for each symbol. The power of each guardian was created in proportion to the force of the symbol they represent. But beware of the power of fire. Air and water are associated with the side of good, earth, and fire with the side of evil. An ancient symbol, an artifact of unknown nature that repulses evil at the least touch. I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to make anything out of this text, probably not. But we have some a star with 13579 around it. And what could be digits or something around it, it's hard to say, that might be a two, three, four. Well, it looks like eight, but this also looks like eight. Well, it's a strange book indeed. Okay, when we get back up here, we'll be back in the uh. In the room with these guards. <sighs> <clears throat> Thought I 
heard something. Yeah, that's the trap. We don't want to go that way. But I'm going to end the episode here. And uh, I'm going back. I don't know where I'm going to go. Keep, keep wondering, keep exploring. Keep seeing what I can find.